Oh, Jazz is on. Hello, where are we? Where are we, though? I'm still trying to pull it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was looking down. Damn. Gotta hold it. My baby. All right, we live, we live. Why is the chat not loading up? Let's pull this up, everything. Hey, yeah, it's not loading up for me, though. Caffeine's having uh, one of the caffeine days. Good morning, everyone out there. I'm sure you're, you're pulled up with us. I can't see anybody. Hey, but if you're out there, hello, hello. Okay, I see us. Ah. Yeah. Here. And what up, Monroe? What up? CLW, thank you for sharing. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? Lil Brown, good morning, Queen. Rico, Damien. Yes. Y'all saw the notifications and you tapped in. Yes. How you doing, uh, friends, on this Tuesday? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. It's been um, it's been an exciting start to Ultimate Madness Season Four. It's never a slow day in battle rap. Uh, I'm just looking forward to see how everything progresses and what storylines build up in the next couple of days. This, this this thing never sleeps. So. <laughs> hey, Rita. Everybody, say good morning to Rita. Huffing loud, and I know you already are today. <laughs> yes, Tracy. Hey, boo. What's ghetto and battle rap this morning? Complainers, people thinking somebody got robbed, judging uh, controversies. Mm -hmm. uh, Mickey, the all head beef, Mickey Facts, Voice of Five Nine, Lupe. <laughs> it's just, it's just like it's just, it's just always something. It's just always something. It's always something that rap. <laughs> Pat Stay and J2 going back and <laughs> Yo, it's never a dull day in Battle Rap. Never, ever, ever a dull day. Um Wow. What? I'm trying to get all my stuff here uploaded. There's nothing. Okay. Yeah. Oh head beef. Yeah, man. They oh heads. Like worries and them respectfully, but y'all like the oh heads. Y'all the unks. You got all these unks fighting each other. <laughs> Verbally, <laughs> now they talking about bringing. Uh, well, we gonna talk more about it, but look, Royce might need some backup, and I never thought I would say that for him and Mickey Fax, but it looked like Royce. He he on the fence. He on the ropes. Hey, Nettie, how are you? Uh, of course. What happened with Pat and J two? We gonna talk about it. Are J2 and Next the most hated rookies? Damien. Look, the Next hate is crazy right now. Y'all don't like Next. We might as well start there, right? We might as well just start there so we can we can we can get it out the way. Uh CC, I we, we didn't get a chance to talk about it on Saturday because uh, the report hadn't come out yet, but Geechee Gotti actually addressed um the next and Tayrock judge decision. Kichigadi says, end quote, I suggested me personally that if someone's going live saying there's nothing he can do to beat an, another person as a battler, I wouldn't want him to judge my battle neither. If y'all mad, blame Gotti. Okay, Gotti saying, if y'all want smoke, come find me. <laughs> so, so, see, I, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you take it off now that we got a chance to hear. Gichi Gotti was the one that had a lot of input and influence for this. He also says some more stuff here, too. I want to read this to you as well. He also says, I think Rock is one of the realest out here that I that I F with in these streets. But on some judging-ish, to be fair to the battlers, I would make that call, like put someone else in that hasn't publicly made a statement about a battle rapper like that. So this is this is political this is political Geechee here. Well, they've already battled, so that that's this is not no battle rap is this is Geechee God just saying how he feels and that's how he feels. And like 
I don't know, maybe Rita, because, you know, Rita, she writes bars. She's had, you know, she she does her thing, too, just like what Hurricane do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If somebody was judging y'all on, or critiquing y'all and you heard them maybe have not so positive things to say about your talent or abilities, you know, Rita, would you feel some type of way or would you want somebody How to swap this? that judge you know, out for somebody let's, else? Let's make this very simple, CC. If I had to judge a Miss Hustle battle, do you think she would let me do it? Hell no. This is that simple. This is that simple. Hell no. I she wouldn't let myself do it. None of us, even though I had nothing, nothing to do with this. She still wouldn't even let me because she would probably feel like you too close to him. <laughs> and that's fair. That's completely fair. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bum Nitty. But uh, hey, JB. We got Tata. Ozzy pulled up too. Shout out to y'all. I mean, I'm not upset about it because I feel like people have to put their, themselves in next shoes. And I think that, you know, again, get that head out your heart. Get that head out your heart. If you was in the same scenario as next, I think most people would agree if they could to try to swap it up with somebody that is neutral. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we want from our judges. We don't want judges coming in here with already bias, whether good or bad. We always talk about the bias of some bad rappers as far as, you know, good. Like, I'm only going to look out for this type of thing. But you might have some judges that just be like, I just don't like him or her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's personal or I don't know if it's just bad rap, what, what Tay Rock said. So, again, it is what it is. I feel like people got to get their head out their heart and be honest about it. And this is for money. Thank you, Rico. This is for money and the opportunity to open summer madness. Like, come on, bro. I'm not letting nobody cheat me out of none of that. None of that. It feels like a lot or of we, times. Or I'm locking, me and my people yeah. is locking the doors and nobody is leaving. Yeah. If, it feels like a lot of times, like, with the fans, like, they kind of want to have you at their expense. Where it's like... They, they don't want you to speak up when certain things happen, and they want you to just wear it on your shield, take the L, and, and, and move on with, with it, right? Because, like, I remember perfectly, like, in Ultima Man 3, Swamp battle Geechee. Fans are complaining there's gas for Geechee. Swamp um, Geechee battle Casey. People complaining there's gas for Geechee, right? People, the fans are complaining about this. So, in Swamp's post-game interview, they asked Swamp, how do you feel about the crowd reaction? Swamp decided to not answer that question. Everybody's like, look at Swamp. He's so honorable. I love it. Like, I respect it. They asked Casey the same question, and Casey addressed it. And everybody was upset with Casey. And it's like, wait, you got, you guys are addressing this as well. Like, you the, you guys vocalize this as well. She's just doing the same thing you guys are doing. Like, I, it almost feels like they, they, for, they want your expense to be to their benefit. And if not, right. then it's like when you speak up for yourself, they don't like it. So I'm not mad at next for it because Elijah's a perfect example. He probably could have and should have spoke up because he had the, this whole issue with Chilla Jones earlier That's this year, what I'm saying. That's and rough. and he chose to com he completely chose to not speak up about it, knowing that he would have a judge not vote for him in his favor. Now who knows? Chilla Jones may have really thought next won the battle, but now that confrontation lives there. And if anything. Elijah and Chilla actually had a real back and forth where they went back and forth online. Next and, and Next and Tay Rock have never had any discussions to this magnitude. So, I just think it got confusing because Next started his first round saying like, you know, like how oh I'm seeing that y'all saying that you know I'm making decisions on the judges or whatever. You know what I'm saying like that was kind of confusing because it's like, but you did though. Yeah. Respectfully, but yeah. you did out. Yeah. Like, in a way, you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It is what it is. But um, somebody asked us, friends, if we saw what Tay Rock said after next one on Saturday. He said that he, he said that Elijah would, I think he said that, like, Elijah won, right? Like, he's saying, like, Elijah would have won that, should have won, would have won that battle if he was a judge. Like, because he would have picked Elijah. Not see it, not for the parlay. <laughs> I'm mad as <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna be respectful, you know. Next, yeah, the, the, the I, chat, now the I, chat not know, working today, B. I'm not sure. I see what you're saying. The caffeine update. This is uh, it's not letting it open. Um, yeah, I mean, look, 
It is what it is, right? It, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, sometimes being the people's champ is almost more valuable than than winning in these tournaments. So, y'all be nice to next man. Be nice to that, that young man. He a young man trying to live his dreams, his this, battle rap dreams. If this isn't the if, if this isn't the example that winning isn't everything, like. Like you guys get constantly taught the same lessons in battle rap over <laughs> and over and over and over again, and then and, and it's like it never registers in your brain, where it's like it, winning is not more important than having the the a good performance and the approval of the fans. Because right now, I bet you guys are all buying Elijah stock before you're buying next stock. Unfortunately, no, G for it. I don't. I don't feel like to be honest with you. I just feel like the battle was very close. So if I had to give my honest opinion, I'm not mad that next one. I was leaning more towards Elijah, but again, it was close. I, I, I like I don't agree. It was a robbery. Yeah, what's don't. what's this? What's this? Um, everybody's saying next getting this push, right? I talked about it yesterday. What's this mythical push that he's getting? He had two at battles, right, against Cuban and Rubando. You call that a push? And by the way, those are at battles that you have to go and click on for yourself. Well, you chose to watch those battles. Nobody forced you to watch those battles. He battled murder, right, and now he's in a tournament after putting on consistently good performances. Where is this mythical push coming from? I, I, I would love to know. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully to murder, he hasn't had a clean battle since he battled Stumbles. Oh, that name. I can't stop rolling my eyes when I hear that goddamn name. Stumbles? So, Murder Mook, I apologize beforehand. If somebody speaks your name and does not say Murder Mook, and I roll my eyes, please know it's it's not it's that was not for you. Do it's you guys do you, do you guys do you guys not expect a league that's booking battles and booking talent to not push talent? I don't I don't understand that part of it all. Radio this radio station's marketing this artist. Yeah, the artist is good. The artist is talented. Isn't that what they're supposed to do? Like, I'm confused. Oh, this this recruiter is hiring too many people. He's a, he's a fucking recruiter. Like, that's his job. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> oh, man, do do better, man. Do better, please. Please do better. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on, man. Let's. All right, yeah, let's move on because we do have an interview. We got a guest coming through. Yeah, we do have Sheet Happens pulling might, up to the... Yeah, he might be on time. Oh, <laughs> most definitely. But let's talk a little bit about J2 <laughs> and Pat Stay. Unfortunately, man, we got everything on Caffeine is updating today, so we can't get all the stuff that we wanted to get on the screen. But I'll read it to you. Uh, Pat Stay tweets out, I want to battle the gay guy. <laughs> Not knowing who J2 was at the time, but I guess I saw the J2 battle. And then J2 responds, hey, white boy, my name is J2. Then Pat Stay continues to go back and forth with him to the point where Pat Stay is binge watching his battles. And while he's binge watching his battles, he tweets out, I'm starting to get into him in the video, fanning his shirt, uh. <laughs> fanning his shirt, doing all types of crazy nonsense. But uh, CC, it's, it's possible that J2 could get a Pat Stay plate before everybody. And then the whole timeline will be in shambles because <laughs> everybody will be so upset. Like, real quick, shout out to Reggie. He in the chat. He said he said he doesn't understand why we don't get it. But you know that's that we family. We gonna disagree sometimes. But Re Reggie, I'm Reggie, res respe respectfully, I'm Reggie, if you if you think Cuban Rubando murder is a resume that's considered a push, uh, we, we gotta we gotta do better, bro. You know I love you. you we, know gotta, we gotta do better, bro. Reggie. We gotta do way he better. He a day one. He a day one. But I'm excited for J two because just like we saw with the new era class. Even though, yes, only Fonz and Jay went to the finals and Fonz ended up winning. Easy, who got knocked out the first round, like flipped that loss into one of the biggest wins. One of the biggest finesses. One of the biggest flex in Bad Rap recently. So J2, take, I hope you've been paying attention to how the new era guys have been moving. This is your chance to do the same thing. Yeah, you out of the tournament. You did your best. I still rock with you. I still respect J2. I want to see him go very, very far. So, milk this shit. Get that motherfucking bag. Get that bag. Because Pat State's last performance wasn't all that. It wasn't goatly. It wasn't all right, no All right, all right. Take, it, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. So, don't, y'all, y'all not just going to act like J2 ain't got no chance. 
He doesn't. But I love the <laughs> I love I love the ambition. I love the ambition. I, I love J two on every battle. I don't care if he goes up against Loaded Lux. I'm gonna be right there going, Go Pat J two. Uh, I, I, Pat Stay likes these battle these like themed kind of <laughs> battles that puts him to think outside of the box. Like he's battled a transgender. He's battled people that don't speak <laughs> English. Like he just loves to put himself in these situations because they're like. They like flex his creativity. It helps him open up to different eyeballs, and it becomes a real interesting battle. Creative. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so I think he likes the idea of battling J two more than J who J two is, because stock wise, like, because <laughs> stock wise, like J two isn't even close to any of these names he's calling out. Like J two wants to battle Briz. J two wants to battle Paste. Like he's not close to those guys yet. He just got out the Crucible and just lost in Ultimate Madness four. As talented as he is, I'm gonna twist. I love J two. Uh, he's a really dope battler, but he's still not there yet. So that will be a major shot and a look from Pat Stay. But when I see J two and Anderson Burroughs, I'm like, you couldn't you couldn't handle Anderson? What you gonna do with Pat? What are you what are you gonna do with Pat? Yeah, shout out to Anderson. That boy got talent. I like him, and he's not. And I know how Reggie. I already feel it. I already feel your fingers typing. I don't know. He's I don't know. Hold on. I, I need to know. Boy. Wait, before Reggie me, criticizes I didn't Anderson. I get no corny white boy vibes. Hold on. Before Reggie criticizes Anderson, I need to know if you actually watched his battle. Because Anderson's fire. All right? Anderson is like that, that one. That's like, I, I got to laugh. I just can't help but laugh. This guy is good. No. Like, we're Reggie. Anderson better than next. Honestly, he actually okay. What? Did Reggie just say a white boy is back? Well, next is half black. Like, well, but you know what it is. The it's state, that, that statement was it's more America. about, I think that statement One was more about next black. than it was about Anderson, to be honest with you. <laughs> Look, I don't think Anderson, he doesn't give off those corny white boy vibes. And sometimes I know some of y'all don't like KOTV because you don't really like how they battle. That's not me. I'm just saying what I see. But, I would say this, as far as Pat Stay, I would like to see Pat Stay come back. Would I like to see Pat Stay versus J2 right away? To be honest, no. Give J2 some time. Give him some time. You know what I'm saying? Now, further down the line, if J2 keeps proving himself, shoot, let's see what let's see what this looks like. You know, let's see. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of pauses. Because I know Pat State will say a lot of pause-worthy, funny stuff. So it's, it, it will be very entertaining to watch. But not right now. Give give J2 some time to grow. What, what Anderson told J2? You're from the South. You can be as gay as you want. Gay guy in Atlanta? That's like a white guy in Vermont. <laughs> 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 He said, I know how this battle... black people in Vermont? Like, yo, that's like white he people's said, he... last... Yo, like, see, see, he said, he, he said, he said, he said, he said, uh, I know how this battle looks, and let's just face it. They're going to picture me as being a homophobe and a racist. Let's just make this clear. I am not racist. <laughs> <laughs> Tata, but I feel like yeah, I like Anderson, sick, man. I feel like Easy and Sick after their exits out of Ultimate Madness one, I feel like they were a little bit higher compared to where J two is. Now the only the only thing with Easy before like we know before, that Easy and Sick are special, okay, but not everybody can bounce out of Ultimate the, Madness and a, go battle a goat. There's a few differences with with, with this saying. with these guys, right? Like the Ultimate Madness one guys. Um, a lot of those guys were battle rapping for a couple of years. They were just rookies on URL. They weren't rookies That's to true battle true. rap. These guys from yeah. UM4 are coming out of the Crucible. And plus, before Easy battled Danny, he still battled Fonz. He made it to the second round. He battled Cortez, and then he battled Danny. If he had lost in the first round and go straight to Danny, like we might not have the Easy that we have now because hmm. he might have not gotten there yet. Like he progressed to get to Danny, so. And like I said, the first battle I watched of J2 was him versus Yoshi on RBE. And that's when I've always followed him from that time on. And again, like he's come a long way, but you know, give him like, let's give him a few more. Just like, like Fran said about easy, give him some other plates that are a little bit high, 
you know, a little, maybe some mid tears, some good mid tier action, you know, and then throw him a top tier and see what happens. Yeah, like right now, like I really want to see Elijah straight come back to caffeine. I want to see him come back to the one-off weekend. And, um, you know, like in the final four of these tournaments, you're going to get two battles. Um, so that's the perfect card to put these guys on, like, like as the one-off battles to, like, I don't want to call it the loser bracket, but the people that got eliminated that came back to showcase themselves. And I'm kind of just shocked because, like, I said Elijah DG is a fire battle. I put it out there. Henny Man put it out there. They talked about it last night on the on URL Caffeine show. Like, that's a battle people want to see. I think isn't is there's some demand for DG and Elijah. Elijah responds like, nah, we need bigger plates. Like, I, I, I hear you, bro, but, like. Well, you are all part like, like, I, 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 res, I respect that a lot, what but, like. like what he want, Chilla? He want so He want revenge? No, nah, like. Chilla? <laughs> like you, you got you got it. You got to get a little bit smarter, man. Like that's the real sick. One thing real sick always said when he was coming into the game, he was like, "I don't have a hit list. I'm gonna just let the people decide for me." Oh, Elijah, he did say that. Elijah, right now the people are kind of deciding for you. They want to see you in DG. You guys are both really good punchers. People are upset that you did not advance, and there's people in the world that feel both you guys got robbed. Yeah, you know, I honestly feel like DG won that battle too. I don't. I I got DG. First and second, I've been saying that. Um, I know Coffee. She tweeted out like she was like she was like, "How did y'all pick the who did he battle? Who DG battle? Kiss Lay. Kiss Lay. I don't see how y'all give Kid the first. I, I like I honestly do not understand how Kid got the first round from some of y'all. Hey, little Reggie, I got Slay winning too, but I mean, there's people uh, that really feel DG won. We see it in the chat. Look at Cece. We both don't. We're there's a disagreement. There is a debatable battle in this in this battle, right? So DG, I want to see DG come back. You know, what I'm saying DG's fire, man. That plug talk twenty thousand times. Plug talk, plug talk. Some of y'all have never even freaking held a rock a crack in your life and y'all swear to god y'all love plug talk and street shit and and swamp's third round really touched your soul get the fuck out of yo, here you, yo you all right you all right i'm just so irritated with some of these people in battle rap that live their lives through people and it's like bro you went to private school you did you was never around it you was never around that stuff when you talk about plug talk what you know? What you know about plug talk? Mm, mm, mm. I'm just so irritated with some of y'all. I am talking fast. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. All right, we should have Sheed pulling up on us soon. But before we get Sheed pull up on us, uh, Cece, you talked about the uncles arguing, right? <laughs> uh, Mickey facts. I this voice. said, let me live my dope boy dreams. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, go back and live y'all dope boy dreams. My bad. Um, Mickey Fax oh, dissing sorry. Royce to 5-9 after Loop, Lupe and, and, and Royce were dissing each other. It, it's getting interesting because Cassidy is listening to the song. You know what I'm saying? Joe Budden's entertaining coming back and start rapping again. Like, Mickey might have might have sparked some shit. You know what I'm saying? He might have he might have triggered a lot of people. And let's let's uh let's play a little bit of this Mickey Facts this. We gotta play. You know we're gonna be copyrighted. Oh, this isn't uploaded on anywhere else. This is directly from his stuff. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah. Let me get this sheet on too at the same time. Look, all this chatter for hours is really silly, nigga. But no rapping, I swear you gotta be back. No matter how many flowers you try to give a nigga, it's like they only want them on top of the cast. Mm. Damn, pay the price for acting lady like we really see black and M's. Kinda shady, right? You sent the shot, so I flash back like it's 80s night. Playing big, I put you in the box. That was Gravy's plight. Thought I was hijacking. Alright, we're gonna get a little snippet of that. But shout out to Mickey, man. Mickey, Mickey, six minutes of just straight fucking flames, like, real casually, too, real laid back and all that. Like, he checked them boxes. He checked them boxes. Yeah, he did. He checked them boxes. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, because she's like, 
How dare somebody talk to my friends like that? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> it's still Detroit versus everybody. So I don't know what Roy's going to do, but I saw some people were saying that they're trying to bring Eminem into this whole fiasco. Can, can, anybody, can anybody leave Eminem alone? Like he, he... Eminem just be wanting to chill, y'all. Oh, God. Eminem just be wanting to be around his children, okay, and live his best life. And make music when he wants to. He probably gonna tell Royce, you got this. Like, you better man up and get at him. Like, what? You got it. I'm listening though. I'll listen to your uh your response. <laughs> like, damn. Everybody from Detroit always runs to Eminem, but that's funny. Uh, Eminem 48, let him retire. Eminem. Jeremiah, that comment will not be read on this show. And there is no Eminem slandered allowed on Let's Talk Battle Rap Podcast. There you have it. You ain't stayed in a damn thing besides some hate. Besides some hate, sir. All right. Uh, I think I, I guess... just took, you know what, Jeremiah, you just, you know, Chat's triggering you? I'm getting triggered. Ooh. I'm a woo stop on you. I'm a woo on you. Okay. M don't really line up. Roy's going to get bizarre. Bizarre's been in a few people's asses. Pause for the man. You all right? Why? He's been in like a few people like he's like he's he's been on some diss tracks and he's held his own. He said some shit. Damn. Can't talk around y'all, bro. <laughs> right. Is our guest here? Uh we're waiting on our guest, oh, but while geez. we while we while we wait for our guest, let's uh it is Tuesday. We get a little toxic on this Tuesday morning. It's already toxic. Yeah, it started toxic. Disrespecting my peoples. Y'all laughing at my people's getting flamed on a diss track. Okay, like y'all, y'all just being disrespectful. Y'all don't like next. It's like I just don't know. Words CC N words B twenty five plus talking about pause. Thank you, Monroe. I got one person in my corner. All right. Well, she will be pulling up on us in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's pull up some of these toxic tweets here. Shout out to Gaddis. Because Gaddis was just, just... Oh, damn. Gaddis was oh. in her... She was in her own world yesterday. She was absolutely in her own world. By the way, she deleted the tweets. I don't I don't respect that. Keep them tweets up. Oh, Gaddis, <laughs> you can't do that. That's not, that's not a part of the game. You can't delete them. Unless she got a job that said, um, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 have, let's have let's have some fun time and read all this. Start one here. What type of weird bitches are you? The type of restraining orders persuaded gangbangers. You just get gangbanged, sweetheart. It's a difference. Itch get effed into a gang and didn't even defend it on stage oh. with out of towners. You are weak, and my itch will beat your ass. Oh. Oh. The same cornball that went to caffeine security because RX was on my guest list in LA. You were very scary, doggy. Stop the internet cap. We don't believe you. You need more people. Oh. And then last but not least, I'm the nicest female in battle rap, and y'all want to poke at me. Why? Folgers, keep my name oh. out your mouth before I put the machine on you like Keurig. What she did this? not call her Folgers. You... What is wrong I... with Gaddis? Gaddis. This is <laughs> well. Uh, are y'all ready to entertain Gaddis versus Coffee, and forget about Coffee versus Hustle? Because I'm already off that train. I don't think that's gonna happen. Coffee also responded. I don't have those pulled up here, but I, I do. I think I could read them out loud. Where are we at here? By the way, guys, you can't be deleting tweets, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta own up to it. That's it. You gotta, you gotta own up to it because guess what? Screenshots live forever. That's what I'm saying. It's like even if you have to delete it for work purposes, that's why I be trying to tell these mofos. I'm, I'm gonna say what I gotta say when I. Can't All right, here goes. Here's some of Coffee's responses. Coffee says, Coffee says, if I fight her girlfriend, 
does she fight Coffee's man? <laughs> He's a big guy. I don't know if y'all just want that smoke. <laughs> he kind of big. Oh my goodness, man. He kind of big, bro. I seen him charge towards uh Miss Miami's direction. You know. You know, he, he kind of big. He got a big back. I was speak, speaking speaking of Miss Miami, she kind of got into the middle of it too, like like hyping up Gaddis and all that. I'm like Miss Miami, like what are you doing, bro? Miss Miami, be quiet because your ass was crying and begging and pleading and like like you you, you you we caught Don't you on that. 4K Don't screaming, like we caught you on 4K screaming, like you you can't it doesn't work. That no, Miss Miami, <laughs> respectfully, and she's pulled up on the show. Uh, I think it was fr- uh, Thursday. Respectfully, Miss Miami, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's not right. Yeah. That's just principles. You can't do that. Now, if things would was different and Coffee's man ran up and you like that's different. But you can't no, you could you can't be you can't be known for where stamp at and gas at one of Coffee's ops at the moment. You can't do that, Miss Miami. All right, let's uh let's bring in our guest of the hour and all that and all that. Oh, she does, Tracy. All right. All right, all right. Salutations, good sir. Good morning. Let me know if you can yeah. hear me. Yo. Yes. He got the double double uh sunroof. Do, he do. got the he got a hall glass roof. Look at you. Hi, what's going on? Oh, nice Come get your right, mother right, effing right. trophies. Let's get that back. Let's get that back right there. Come get your trophies, man. How y'all doing, man? Hey man, I, I, I couldn't hear you on that last one. I couldn't hear you. Say it again, CC couldn't hear you. I say, oh, you you was flexing with the you know double sunroof, and then you opened uh, it. Uh, I was like, oh, he flexing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Hey, but yeah, um, hey, how listen, y'all doing, we're, we're how doing y'all good, doing? but I'm sure not as good as you. It must feel very relieving to have made it to the second round. Of Ultimate Man is four. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on your victory this past Saturday. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. You know, uh, she. We did get a chance to meet before I. I was aware of your catalog um, about uh-huh. back in LA, and once I finally got hip to you and, and like got a chance to study and run through all the film of you, I, I was just kind of blown away by uh, the style that you have. And I'm. I'm really curious along the path, right? Because you only. You said you, you corrected us. You only had ten battles. Uh-huh. Was there conversations between like your peers, people that manage you, pe- battle rappers that like you that you spar with like she you got to tone it down a little bit people are not going to understand you and but you said no i want to be myself like well, where you found the balance uh, um i i uh i kind of believed in my style i got some uh, advice uh a lot earlier in my career that told me to just uh add personality and just let go just let go and um when i did that what happened was i ended up getting um you know, very clear fans. I didn't get it in the middle, in between. Either you love my style or you just didn't like it. And either way, it was no real warming up to it. And when I got that, I got a lot more supporters. The haters were clear, but the supporters were even more clear as well. Mm. I didn't really get a lot of in between. So um, another thing that I realized was the unorthodox style, that lane is wide open. That lane is wide open. Yeah, uh, we see um, already, you know, mm. you know, shout out the bill collector already. They're saying she happens versus bill collector. They're saying they're calling you she, Bill Jr. I don't like it. I, I don't I, like it, but I, I, understand. I, don't, I don't like I don't like it either. But I get what people are trying to do. I get it. I get. But <laughs> it's when when things are unorthodox, you know, uh, people try to find a lane for you because they can't find a lane, you know. So mm. with that being said, you know, uh, let's look at the other unorthodox people. We got Jack Boy Maine. We got Briz Ross thing. You know, we just got, um, we got certain people that, ah, shit. We got certain people that, um, that have that lane that's just wide open. And let's just understand how did we feel when we first heard these MCs? You know, it was a lot to, to deal with. It was a lot to overcome, things and so forth like that. But um, after a while, when you got used to this style, it was like, man, you know what? I can appreciate the different stuff. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm just on. So I'm also just trying to bring something new to the game. Um, also, I haven't battled since November. So like the first round, you can tell it's an adrenaline 
it's uh it's a little bit of ring rust on me as well. It's it's you know it's a lot that goes into this. Second round, you can tell I shook everything off because my energy and everything was just more <clears throat> um uh uh compacted. It's more compact instead of you know a lot of things where I was uh, people might say I was everywhere, but that's just my style. Uh, I notice um, in the ring for opponents, fuck, fuck the viewers, fuck the viewers. If my opponent is scared of me, of what I'm doing, the movement that I'm doing, I, it's about me beating my opponent. So if my opponent's saying this, I just can't catch this motherfucker. Why everybody's saying you just need to slow down? But my opponent is sitting up there like every time I, I leave a battle. My opponent is saying, it's just so different standing in front of that. When you're looking at it, it's different. But when you're standing in front of it, it's a completely different type of feeling. So I'm going to keep being me. It got me here. It got me here, and I'm going to keep being me. So, you know, that's what I'm on. Man, your second round, uh, tell your nosy neighbors, go inside for a spin with the stick, close your blind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, Lord, let me tell you something. Lord have, blew up on that one. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I, uh, I came up with that ball first night. Um, when I got my names, uh, when I got my name, they gave me murder. I, I immediately said, let me go back in the hotel and uh, lock in. And you know how the hotel windows are. They big as shit, you know. So when you're practicing, you can see motherfuckers. As I'm grabbing the blinds, I'm like, close your blinds. I'm like, let me close the blinds. I was like, holy shit. You know, when I get into a, when I get into a mode, everything becomes a bar. Everything becomes a bar. Like, like when I get into a mode, it's just it's just ridiculous. So um, I ended up writing up everything. But when I when I heard when I came up with that bar, I said, "Oh yeah, this one of the ones right here. This one of the ones." But yeah, man, um, I'm so humbled, man. This shit is this shit is this shit is love, man. This shit is love for real. One thing about your style that I think is really really fascinating is that because still it's so new and different for a lot of people that are listening, they kind of don't know where to react. And because of that, there's like they're just like lasered in and focused on you, and they're just like following you. They don't know where it starts. They don't know where it ends. And I think it's so great because like they have so much attention to everything that you're doing, but you're layered too. So when you go back to watch it, you're like, oh my god, like I, th this didn't get reaction, but they didn't know how to react to it. The camera. I'm really my performance is for in the building, but my bars are for the camera. So it's like um, a lot of times my shit is is I'll be trying to have my shit as layered as possible, you know, um, as much as I can. But my thing is for the playback. My thing is for the playback because it's like, all right, let me just zone into what this motherfucker is saying. And then when you start with the zoning in, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was really saying some shit. You know, I realized another thing with my style is the playback. It's like we seen people you know, perform to the max, but on a playback, it's like, it just felt better in the building because you was entertained in the building. But as far as on a playback, the words and the, and the um, lyrics might be a little diluted. You know, it might be a little watered down. You know, it's like, it just felt so much better in the building because you was, it was entertainment. You know, it was a show, but now that the show's over and now you listen to the soundtrack, what you got, you know, type of thing. So that's why I'm, I'm on, I'm trying to, um, I try to be the complete package. I say this all the time uh, within promo, within um, marketing, within lyrics, performance, style, uh, unorthodox. I'm trying to be the complete package. My, my next real mission um, is to, to try to rebuttal, you know, type of thing mm. like that. Like my next real mission is to try to, I've seen artists like DG Gotti, you know, who did not have that attribute, who um, said, I'm going to get that attribute. And now, he can add a bar or two right there in your face, you know, type of thing like that. So, you know, it's just about me trying to be um, perfecting my craft. That's what's up. Um, <clears throat> so now you're moving forward to the second round and just talk a little bit about how you're going to get yourself ready in just two weeks. And we, you know, just history shows with Austin Manners. Yeah, first round, overall, most people are strong with their performances, but it starts getting watered down further and further you go. Do you have any concern for that? Uh, I actually, um, the thing about it is, uh, I we seen a couple of uh, rappers uh, that their material get watered down. Of course, it comes with it. I say this shit all the time. You know, um, uh, your lyrics are like food in a, a refrigerator. Keep cooking, keep cooking. You don't get a chance to go to the grocery store. 
that shit, it's like, man, I ain't got nothing to cook up, you know. So as much as I um I keep piling on and piling on material, material. I think uh in this um tournament, universal raps are very important things that you can say almost to anybody. So if you pack the refrigerator with universal raps, now you can sprinkle name flips on top of it, type of mm. thing. And now you stretch your whole fucking meal because you had a couple of universal raps that can go against anybody, sprinkle in some um some name flips that make it more personal, and then now boom, you got a round. So um with me, I've been trying to pack the refrigerator. I've been trying to do that this whole time. So hopefully I can uh, keep this up. But as of right now, I'm, I'm like, it's different when you're in. And I'm like, ooh, you can't back and enjoy what just happened this weekend. You can't. It's like, it's it's really mama mentality. Like, next basket, next next basket. Yes. <clears throat> but, it, but it's still just worth two points. You know, so it's like, let's get back on defense. Let's go ahead and do it again. So my concern of uh, um, uh, uh, doing this in two weeks uh, if I had to put it on one through ten, my concern level is literally half of that. It's probably five. It's probably five. Because I'm going to get this shit done. I'm going to get this shit done. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I love I love everything that I'm hearing. Is that, hold on, is that Mariah Carey's closet? Who, whose closet is that? Like, what, what, what picture is that? <laughs> what, what, what picture is that? It's my bad closet. That's why I have all, all my bags. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the maturity from you and the and the awareness of the game is is almost just as, as stunning as your performance and your your skill set because it's like having that level of IQ not just as a battle rapper but as a brand and an artist that's what takes you the long way like your promo is crazy your Photoshop game is crazy the way you talk yeah. the face offs like all those little things encompass to 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 lead you to become a fan favorite. Uh, the fan vote doesn't exist in this tournament, so like that doesn't play a factor into things. Uh, one thing I also think about is I'm sure opponents look at you and say, "What do I say to this motherfucker? Like, do I try to punch you, you to death?" You want to know one thing? <laughs> I've uh, it's funny you said that because uh, I battled my last battle with G Lo on Survivor Series. Yeah, I had eight opponents since then, four backouts. Mm. I mean, in the four true, the only one true one was uh. Jay Kruger. Jay Kruger has some health issues. And, um, you know, he. I'm glad he back doing this mm-hmm. thing now. He back up. Um, matter of fact, he got a battle coming up at uh, Gates of the Garden soon. So, shouts out to uh, Jay Kruger. Um, that was the only one that was really, really like, I felt like I was about to battle. It was like the week of the battle, and he had some health issues. So, uh, other than that, I had about six backouts. Like, wow. six of them. And three of them told me personally, I'm not going to expose their names, but three of them told me personally, you were just too much as I was studying. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm they like, didn't want that smoke. That's, that's wild to me. Like, it, it's just so wild, man. Y- y'all got to understand, I had no intentions of being a battle rapper. No intentions. I was literally sitting in the studio with Ace Amin, and I'm sitting in the studio with him. I quit rapping five times. I quit rapping. I didn't, it just, life, I didn't know engineers and the rapper was like this. I didn't know that, you know, so if you didn't have an engineer, then then rapping was a lot harder, you know, type of thing, beat selection, all that stuff. I was, you know, and then you start just start thinking like, man, maybe I do need to go do something else. Maybe this is a dream or something like that. So um, I'm just sitting in the studio with Ace. We took a break from, um from rapping like he finally convinced me to like man come in the fucking studio man so like my third time in the studio ace is um we took a break and we put on a battle we just looked at each other i forgot what battle we was watching we looked at each other and said man Ace said man what you want to do you want to do this shit and i said man i'll do this shit he's like no you want i said, i'll do it don't fucking play with me i'll do this shit ace booked the battle next week and i was like holy shit not this quick, like not this quick, like like wait, wait. He had one battle, and that was against um, uh, um. ah fuck, ah oh, man, he gonna kill me, man. He had one battle, uh, he had one battle, and he kind of took off. His next battle that he had, I had a battle, and I was upstairs. It just so happened that um, 
I did good in my battle, got my opponent out of here. They shut down the upstairs and they they opened up the downstairs level. At that point, New Jersey Twerk had came in the building with Ryder. New Jersey Twerk didn't know Ace, but he's such a real motherfucker. After he saw Ace, he made a call for the PGs and Ace took the fuck off. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, it happened that quick. So me seeing it behind the scenes, my IQ level is a lot higher because I've been right there with Ace. Like, I've been, if you look at mostly all his battles, I'm right there. Like, in the background, I'm right there. And um, just seeing, you know, his trials and tribulations, his mistakes, his rewards, I've learned right then and there. Like, Ace, maybe you shouldn't have did that. Or Ace, that was fucking genius type of thing. So now that it's my turn, apply it. You know, apply it. You know, so that's what I've just been on, man. And, um, and I'm glad it's just paying off. I'm glad it's paying off. It's it's incredible. Go ahead, go ahead. See, I know you got I know you got some stuff. On I was you. just gonna ask: Was any of those people that you said didn't want no smoke with you in Ultimate Madness for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody about to get smoked. <laughs> funny, funny thing is, funny thing is, funny thing is, I'll let y'all weed them out, but. One. Are they on your side? Two are gone. Two are gone. Two are two, gone. Okay. Two are that's, gone. That's, that's, gone. A, that's, that's enough hints. That's enough hints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two are gone. Two are gone. <laughs> two of them are gone. So, uh, uh, other than that, that yeah, I had some other people. praying to his God. Like, yeah, I, I had some <laughs> other people. Like, I had some people that y'all haven't even seen in a while. Like, like they was bringing them back. Like, y'all had not seen them in a while. I'm talking about like UFF type of thing. It was I had opponents that was in UFF, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like I'm 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 telling P like, "Are you sure? Like, are you sure?" He's like, "I'm trying to tell you, she just gonna be the one." The next thing you know, they disappeared, disappeared. Like, are they alive? Are they okay? Let's make sure they okay first. <laughs> no, they went for you to go. They're like, yeah, I'm like. And then I'll come back outside. <laughs> you know, so so then uh so then uh I had a battle that was lined up in June and uh that opponent backed out too. So I was sitting up there, I was like, look, y'all, we almost in a couple months, we coming up on a year. Um, like, what's up, man? Like, what's going on, man? I I need something to lock in. They was like, Man, she I've been wanting to tell you. I just wanted you to get some momentum going into it, but you're in ultimate madness four. So well, why the fuck did you start off with that? I was like, why do you start off with that? So, um, you know, now that I'm here, man, I'm I'm here to put on. I'm here to put on, definitely. Uh, that's why I was. That's why I was. Um, I wanted to make sure I stood out as well. That's why I brought Smack up on the stage. I was like, man, come come the fuck up on the stage. He he walked right in the building. Yeah, you did. He, yeah, he he walked right in the building. He stood on the line of the cameras. Like, what's up? I was like, right at my coin toss. Right when I got uh, when they told me what's how you feeling, she how I'm feeling is Smack need to come up here. That's how I'm feeling. Type of thing. Smart. Crazy mm -hmm. thing about it is I haven't won a coin toss in a in maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. And uh I think I've only won one coin toss out of all ten of my battles. I've always been like, man, can I just win a coin toss so I can put my back up against the wall? After smack, brrr, yeah, we out here. I'm like, why would I give the momentum to murder? Why would I do that? Let me just kick this shit off. Like, let's go. Like, let's go. So yeah, yeah, we here, we here. It's trophies in this motherfucker. We are here. Is there any of your peers left in the tournament that also oh, you look at like, all right, this guy could be a threat. Like this guy could be a serious matchup problem for me too. Anybody that's in front of me can be a threat. Um, this is an any given Saturday type of feeling. Like you don't, you know, I think the, the most important thing is um, you rely on your talent as far as your writing ability. Rely on that. It's not enough time to really be like, ah, let me scratch that out. Let me do this. Let me do that. I think clean, uh, being clean is more important than anything. What's the point of having all this great content if you can't get through it? Mm. Uh, the, the MC across from you can be mediocre but clean. Then what? You know, type of thing. So it's like, you know, I, it's more so I'm relying on my talent of my writing already to get me through to the next round. Um, so as far as any type of threats, I'm not even looking at it like, oh, man, I got to watch out for this guy. I got to watch out. I honestly thought murder my first round was my biggest threat because he's down the street from me. He lives. He's he's 30 minutes away from me. He's home. He knows about things that other rappers might not know about. 
his conviction. I think he has the best conviction out of everybody type of thing. I just felt like his conviction as far as his presence, when he talks, he sounds like a fucking monster, you know, type of thing. So I said, if I can get through that, survive that, then the next people on my side, I'm looking like, oh, they don't have that type of presence as much as he does. So I'm just sizing up my opponents and I'm sitting up there like, all right, I'm ready to go. Uh, and, and, um, and mind you too, you know, we've all sparred and, and things and so forth like that, you know, day before. And I'm looking at people's first round material and I'm holding up my material next to their material. And I'm like, she, you're right there. Like you're right fucking there. If it's not a lot of people passing you with material, it's a lot. I love the Elijah Straits material. I, I really like, uh, some of Nexus material. I think um, out of all the material, I really liked Elijah Straits. I really like Elijah Straits. Like as far as rapping ability and a lot of things he was doing with the neck flips, that was just crazy to me. And I'm like, that was a, maybe the one person in the whole tournament that I was like, I gotta watch out for this motherfucker. Like uh, Swervo told me to check him out. Uh, a lot of Crucible dudes, I wasn't really checking out like that. Cause you know, I just, I was like, ah, right, Crucible, Crucible. And he was like, nah, Elijah Straits the truth. I, I, I checked him out and I was like, man, this motherfucker here. I'm like, this man, I, it's certain things, I'm sorry, it's certain things that I like. So, um, I gotta say, I love, yeah, I, um, love I love that like, you just described murders being like real difficult for you and how serious you took them. Because like, mm-hmm. as much as you are for the people and connect with the people, you kind of know what to filter out from what you're listening to. Because if you let the fans tell it, you were a high favorite. Everybody, th- everybody thought you were going to clear murder, you know what I'm saying? But you didn't yeah, let yeah. that get into your head or change your preparation on how you viewed murder. And so you took it extremely serious as if murder was a high threat, like you just, like you just said. So I like the fact that you know how to filter out some of the things that's being said out there. Um, and, and I'm curious, like, there's a chance you can be on Summer Madness this year, which is like a very major accolade. Like, Summer Madness is a Super Bowl battle rap. It's one of the highest. It is the highest level at URL. Uh, but do you get too far ahead to think about what Summer Madness looks like, or do you take it one battle at a time? You just now mentioned Summer Madness is the first time this came to my head. Mm. I'm oh, not. Wow. I'm not thinking about none of that. None of that. <laughs> my opponent. If I don't get my opponent out of here, there is no Summer Madness. Uh, um, it's always you. You got. You always got enough time to to gloat, to celebrate when it happens. But you got to get there first. So it's like let's get there type of thing. So I'm not. I'm not uh, thinking about it when I tell you it's not on my mind at all. At all. The only uh, thing that's on my mind is my next round. Um, uh, studying UM one, UM two, UM three. Um, uh, Rum Nitty said he took every single battle one at a time. He's not saving no material for nobody. He's unleashing everything. He's just going to do it again, type of thing like that. Uh, and so that's how I'm looking at stuff. That's how I'm looking at things. That uh, one at a time, one at a time. When now, you now, get there, it's plenty of time. And uh, now it makes celebrate. sense when NBA players be in the playoffs. Like I'm just thinking one game at a time. Like I can't think about sweeping this series. This you you like, have to because yeah. if you think if you start playing to your opponent. Or you start thinking you're comfortable, like you're oh you're up. I got this. Let's look at the Phoenix Suns. Mm. We thought that they were going to clear it because they were so up, and then the Bucks came back because they're coming back from hunger. Oh, we're not going down like that. And then when you get that engine started, it's hard to cut that off. When somebody got your number, it's just hard to for them to get up off of you. So my thing is, is like I'm gonna keep on going. I'm a I'm a clear. As many battle, uh, whoever my opponent is in front of me, and then that is going to take me to wherever I need to be. If I don't do it, then I'm uh, uh, that Plan B. I don't know where I'm where I'm going to be. So it's like I need to go ahead and do what I got to do because I see what's in in front of me, and the outcome of that can be definitive to me. But I don't know what's going to happen to me if I don't make it. So let's let's change that. Let's change that. Let's go ahead and make it so we can head to that to that goal and to that mission. So that's what I'm on. I'm on one battle at a time. Um, like I said, I studied this shit, man. I really said I'm really a student of the game. Um, even as far as a promo, uh, if y'all remember Ultimate Madness one, who they show the most at out of the promo? Uh next and uh kid. So, so you said you said no, no, no. one. Ultimate Madness one. Oh one. Oh um. Uh... Damn, who did they, they showed a lot of Ace. Uh, Y'all wrong. They showed a lot of J. Showed a lot of J. Don't say Ruben. Wrong. Was it Ruben though? You're wrong. Wow, we're it wrong. was it was 
It's Lou Castro. Ugh. He was doing a, ugh. He was taking oh, off his jacket. Yeah, yeah. And all that sure stuff. Okay. Yes, I'm, they did. I'm, they showed him so much, like so much. So even in this promo, I'm like, what am I going to do? Okay, when they doing a the slow-mo, let's get some trophies thrown at me. Uh, let's, let's, let's get people familiar with, you're about to see Sheet is on some other shit. I, 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 I grabbed a whole bunch of pills, you know, in my promo. Like, ah, I took a whole bunch of pills and shit just to let you know that, yo, something not right up here. So when you hear me, it's like, Oh no, this motherfucker's crazy. Like this motherfucker's crazy. So it's uh I one thing I am I'm glad about is now that I got the eyes and the ears, the next round, you you're more um in tune to say, okay, I know what's about to go on. Let me I know what type of ears I need to put on for this one, type of thing. First it's just like, what's going on? What's his style? Wait, huh? Huh? I don't know what's going on. But now that you know. It's like, boom, let's, let's zone in. So I'm glad that I got people familiar with my style, even in round one, who wasn't familiar at all. But now they're more inclined, and they're going to be more uh, tuned in to round two if I come out there and I go wild, you know, type of thing. So I'm message, just looking forward to everything. A message from the chat. I, I would love to hear this. Ask Sheed what's his favorite anime. Uh, right now, Attack on Titan. It's not even, it's not even close. It's not even close. Uh, Attack on Titan, uh, My Hero, uh, mm. Academia. Mm. My, uh, brother, my, brother, my brother loves that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's another one that I just... Hey, man, you got... Come on, man. You want... I'm sorry. This motherfucker's driving like an idiot. Uh, uh, what else? I said Attack on Titan. Uh, uh, um, the, chat got, the, the, the chat got some fire emojis for AOT, so there you go. Yeah, uh, Attack on Titan is it's literally one of the best written uh, animes that's out there right now. Um, but yeah, as watch right, that a? where can you watch, you can that, watch that on? Uh, you can watch season one maybe on Netflix or Hulu. Uh, and, and when you do, in my second round, I pardon me if if I if I lose slight service because I'm going in the garage, but um, uh, I say, um, uh, uh the shit powerful, it can pterodactyl. I said, but Twerk had a bar like that that he got criticized for. I said, don't nobody want to see me bite a dactyl. I'm Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager is in Attack on Titans. When he bat, when he bites into his hand, he t- turns into this beast. So I told Jay Black, like, oh, that's an anime reference. People don't. I uh, that one over my head. Yep. It's it's an anime reference. I, I knew it wasn't going to hit, but one thing I learned about this shit is, if you like it, say it. If you, mm. it's things that I have, I had in my round that I did not like, that people like, and I'm like, nah, I don't like it, so I'm not saying it. As long as I like it, I'm saying it. I can give a fuck less. Like I can give a fuck less is more so of getting people on my page. So um, look, I tell battle rappers all the time, I don't watch anime like that, mm-hmm. like Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, I don't yeah. like that. So if yeah. y'all got anime bars and they go over my head, just just bear with me. It does. Just bear with me. Just explain it. Like hey, it, somebody's it. gonna catch okay. it. Somebody's gonna catch okay. it. Somebody's yeah, gonna yeah, catch yeah. it. Definitely, definitely. And and it's like it's like I I I'm more so as a fan. I've always been a nigga. Like they didn't even know that. They didn't even catch that. <laughs> so um, now that I um now that I'm um. The rapper now is my, I feel like it's my duty to give like a little goose egg for the certain things. Like in round one, I said, um, a goose egg. it's the art of war. <laughs> It'll fuck up your disc too. I ain't showing no thug love. That's literally a bone thugs and harmony. Uh, uh, no, I ca- yeah, bone. I caught that one. That was, yeah, that was yeah, crazy. yeah. This too, thug love track number two type of thing. And people are kind of catching on. And I like when people, um, cause I'm always been a, the type of fan that will, reach out to the artist and say, I caught that. Like, I caught that. Because I know they appreciate certain things like that. I I, I even recently did the shit to um, Av and uh, Fonz and then two on two, they said uh, he touched the book. Uh, uh, all it takes is one touch and he know the book, like Meteor Man. Mm. I'm a, if you don't know Meteor, Meteor Man, that's from way back. Yeah. Meteor Man, he actually touched the book and he can turn into whatever he just read. Mm-hmm. And they was appreciative of that. And I just always feel like as a battle rapper, give give people little goose eggs, you know, type of thing like that. If it don't hit, it don't hit. But it's where you place it in your bars that you'll be able to continue. So 
I'm here. I'm here, man. I'm just yeah, so well, excited. Yes, you I, are. Yeah, yeah here you, you've arrived. Um, definitely a round of applause for what you've done this past weekend. Looking very much forward to your second round in Ultimate Man and Sheed. Uh, Appreciate I, I, it. I do want to say that this is just for me. This is a match that I... I so when I saw you battle Gilo, I was like, I need this battle in my life one day in the future. You mentioned all the unorthodox names, but you left one out. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo oh, versus Sheed. Oh, Solo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Oh, Solo yeah, yeah. versus Sheed is a battle that I, I didn't know I needed in my life, and I have to have it injected in my veins. Like, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Oh, Solo. One, nigga. Bring two, niggas. And three, niggas. Bring four. He's, hey, man. Hey, man. That, that. Now, that guy right there is something completely. And that's what I'm saying, though. When you're unorthodox, you get thrown into this lane of these greats type of thing. You can't, It's kind of like a cut line. You just skip this line of all these MCs because you're so different. So I'd rather be going through the cut line and getting these different opponents, these different matches. People told me they wanted to see me against Dot. So uh, shout out to Kale's uh, KML, yeah. Yeah, uh, no. my home, my, uh, my home uh, league. She set that up. I got dot the fuck out of here. When y'all see it, I got dot the hell out of here. Uh, but uh, now I'm just hearing all these different, yeah, she versus Bill. She versus O Solo. She yeah. versus, and it's, and it's just, and I'm already kind of skipping my class as far as opponents. I would love to battle all of my, all of my class, all of, I want to battle damn near everybody. There's nobody that I, I really kind of don't want to see type of thing. I'm one of those type of, I'm just a competitor. You know, so um, I'm I'm ready for everything. But oh, solo, well, that sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds good. I get him the fuck out of here too. I want to get everybody out of here. I want to get everybody out of here. So, yo, yo, man, you talking? You talking well, man? And I know you can back it up. So, she man, I, I will let you in, go ahead about the rest of your day, brother. Uh, best of luck because the, the tournament starts now. You're in gauntlet mode. Mm -hmm. um, best of luck for the second round. Uh, uh, one thing is, man, I, after this round, man, I need y'all to check back in with me, man. This ain't there with us. This ain't there with us, man. You know what I'm saying? After this round right here, y'all will be seeing me again. I'm keeping my confidence up to keep the pressure on me. So I'm saying y'all will see me again. Y'all will see me in this light again. Um, yeah, so, yeah you're, you're a friend of the show, man. Pull, pull, yeah. sp spin the block, spin the block. Regardless, of now the that results. I know that we good. Now that I know that we good, but uh, definitely, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm gonna uh, check in with me. You already. All right, y'all be safe. You too. That CC, that guy, that guy's different, man. He talks it well, backs it up. Uh, original, not afraid to be himself. Look, he got new fans. He may not have been able to see the chat, but I was peeking down and looking. And look, Sheed has arrived. He is here. And yeah, man, I'm I'm wishing him to go as far as he can. I want to see everybody get something out of this tournament. I said it for Ultimate Madness. One, two, you know, three. That was the superstar. That was the all-star game, you know. But for this fourth one, I want to see all these guys get the most out the, of this experience. The, the, the Summer Madness thing was interesting. Like, he hadn't even thought about getting the Summer Madness. He just just focused on... But he's, yeah, he's focusing on, on the obstacles ahead. And, and the fact that he thought that... The, the fact that he thought murder was like, could have been dangerous for him when nobody I knew at least picked murder to win. Like, that lets me know that he knows how to block out the, the noise. You know what I'm saying? He sees it, was, but knows how to block it out. Being quiet while y'all was trying to say that. What'd you say? Somebody said murder was fire besides the stumbles. Be nice. Be nice. Let them have their opinion. Be nice. Bum nitty said him. Okay. Well, you know. He did have some. He has some moments in there. He has some moments in we there. We don't always agree as a family, but that don't mean we ain't a family. So I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have what you. What... <laughs> oh, bro. All right, man. Sign me out, man. Cause you, you, you're losing. You're losing your marbles. Let's. <laughs> CC, you back on tomorrow? Tata, I saw that comment too. You said I like his locks. <laughs> she said she said she likes the gray. She likes she likes the gray on the hair. So she said. Hey, somebody got that little gray uh, patch on their head. I think I forget what the um oh what's the um uh, the thing about it? It's like a saying about people that have a gray patch on their head. It's a, it's a good thing. It's like either wisdom or or I think it's like you've been here before. You've 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 been here before. It's not saying they're old up there, guys. <laughs> I cannot 
understand you. <laughs> you. You set yourself up for failure. You didn't. You didn't know the. You didn't know the expression, so you left it up for the people. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, y'all, for uh, my solo. We're probably gonna talk about the messiness of Gaddis and coffee if it keeps going on, and who else? Talk about these men's a little bit too, and all the other stuff. We don't have a uh, we don't have battles this weekend, do we? We got King of the Dot battles on Sunday. We got Dre Dennis battling Math Hoffa. Reggie, uh, <laughs> I will try to. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Uh, D. We will try our hardest to. Um... Yes, Bum Nitty is excited for KOTD news. So Reggie, you might just have listen. To just I got. I got. It. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Minute. I'm just gonna put it out there. You can talk about it tomorrow. I'm gonna just put it out there. I can't wait to see Dre Dennis beat Matt Hoffa. That's just me. You think he's going to beat Matt Hoffa? I know he's going to beat Matt Hoffa. Have you heard his rounds? I haven't, but I just... I just I'm going to... I'm, just, gonna I'm actually, very confident in my pick. I'm going to actually go with Matt Hoffa. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with Matt Hoffa. Y'all know I ain't no hated ass bitch. Look, I, 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 I know, I know I for the show, I, I know for like I, entertainment. No look, look, I know for entertainment purposes, we have to disagree to like create the like no, debate I'm not and to do, I'm not you know, know what I'm saying. But you don't, to, you don't gotta do that right now. It's okay. You can, you can come over to the winning side right now. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody's like, you high right now? No, I just feel like, um, I feel like I just think that Matt, he's gonna do, he's gonna. I feel like he will win because this is Judge, right? This is judged. I'm going with Matt Hoffman. Bro, I can completely see a world where Dre Dennis is barring his life out, the judges give it to Dre, and then Matt's on Twitter the next day with a meltdown talking about people don't know how to no. judge battles. Who are the judges? We don't know yet. Okay, because they always switching. Okay, so, okay. Um, Once they drop the names of the judges, I'm telling y'all, if what's rumored out there is what it is, I'm going with Matt Hoffa. I just think that those tell, type of people will tell, like tell, him. Tell, tell, your, tell, your, tell your best friend that you're picking Matt Hoffa in this battle. And let me know how that oh, goes. Oh, Nina, yeah, she's probably going to put me on silent treatment. I'm just saying strategically, he probably will win in that setting. All right, man, let's get out of here. We're over time, man. LTBR, <laughs> LTBR he daily. He's real in a judge battle. He knows how to battle judge battles. That's what I'm saying. He knows what to do. LTBR Daily on a Tuesday. Signing out. We'll be back tomorrow for CC Solo not Show. He he did he did. I didn't say anything. Did not, I, okay. I I I, I didn't re, I didn't rebuttal your point. That means you got it. I didn't rebuttal you. You got it. It was a good I'm point. To the chat. The chat want to keep arguing with my point. Okay, I'm done. Bye, oh, y'all. The, the, the chat gonna be looking for your ass on Monday. Just know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>